Cornet Jean-François Hamans the 28th of March 1892 to the 18th of July 1968 was a Belgian physiologist. He studied at the Jesuit College of Saint Barbara and then at Ghent University, where he obtained a doctor's degree in 1920. Hamans won the Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine in 1938 for showing how blood pressure and the oxygen content of the blood are measured by the body and transmitted to the brain. Topic. Early life and education After graduation Hamans worked at the Collège de France under Professor E. Glee, the University of Lausanne under Professor M. Artus, the University of Vienna under Professor H. H. Meyer, University College London under Professor E. H. Starling and Case Western Reserve University School of Medicine under Professor C. F. Wiggers. In 1922 Hamans became lecturer in pharmacodynamics at Ghent University, and in 1930 succeeded his father, Jean-François Hamans, as professor of pharmacology, as well as being appointed head of the Department of Pharmacology, Pharmacodynamics, and Toxicology, and director of the J. F. Hamans Institute. Research Hamans was awarded the Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine in 1938 for showing how blood pressure and the oxygen content of the blood are measured in the body and transmitted to the brain via the nerves and not by the blood itself. Hamans accomplished this by vivisection of two dogs, the head of one connected to its body only by nerves, and the second one's body was used to cross perfuse supply blood to the first dog's head. Hamans found that the first dog's upward and downward cardiovascular reflex arc traffic were carried by its own vagus nerves, but agents introduced to the second dog's blood, which served the first dog's brain, had no effect. He used a similar experiment to demonstrate the role of peripheral chemoreceptors in respiratory regulation, for which he received his Nobel Prize. He was the editor in chief of Archives Internationales de Pharmacodynama et de Therapie for many years. His memberships included the Pontifical Academy of Sciences, the Académie des Sciences, and the Royal Society of Arts. The group of physiopharmacologists working under Hamans at Ghent University were looking for the anatomical basis of the respiratory reflex at the carotid sinus. It was necessary that the Spanish neurohistologist Fernando de Castro Rodriguez (1898–1967) described in detail the innervation of the aorta carotid region, circumscribing the presence of baroreceptors to the carotid sinus, but that of chemoreceptors to the carotid body. For the Belgian group to move their focus from the first to the very small second structure to physiologically demonstrate the nature and function of the first blood chemoreceptors. The contribution of the young de Castro, maybe the last direct disciple of Santiago Ramón y Cajal (1852–1934), awarded the 1906 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, was overlooked at the time, but it was later recognized that he deserved to share the Nobel Prize with Hamans, his colleague and friend. Topic: <laughs> Personal life. Hamans married Bert May, an ophthalmologist, in 1929 and had five children. He died in Nock from a stroke. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Honors and awards. Hamans Crater on the Moon. Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine, 1938. Topic: <laughs> References. Topic. External links Cornet Hamans, 1892–1968, Nobel Prize winner in Physiology and Medicine 1938 The American Society for Pharmacology and Experimental Therapeutics, the first 60 years 1908–1969 p.145 Dead Scientist of the Week Carl Grandin, ed. 1938 Cornet Hayman's biography. Les Prix Nobel. The Nobel Foundation. Retrieved 24 July 2008. CS1 maint, extra text, authors list link.